All right, this is after this is after a rain thunderstorm we had today, but today is um, Wednesday the 12th, July 12th, <clears throat> and this is after uh, the video went up today of this being poured. So yes, I have fired these people. Yes, they showed up late. Yes, they didn't finish what they were supposed to do, um, but they also didn't do it very well, as you can see. Um, a lot of low spots low spot here the new person I hired before it rained saw that it was low here now yes this is the spot that we ran out uh, this was the one yard area um, that went in afterwards so but it wasn't that long it only took a half an hour to get that there so they had three guys and they were all like doing the pouring which they did not need to do they could have been placing dowels but this is a low spot right there you could clearly see it by that time i don't know why they were tired it didn't even take two hours to pour this um <clears throat> so low spot here there there big low spot over here <clears throat> you can see all the water and somebody would say well you know if it the water just runs in there well if the water ran in there, it would be level everywhere because water levels itself, right? That's how water is. So if this was level and there was all this water, you'd have water everywhere in here. So this is clearly a low spot. And look, if you want me to stick my finger in there, I'm up, I'm up to my first knuckle right there. I mean, first knuckle. So that means more mortar has to go in there. It's not really the idea plus <laughs> mortar isn't free and the idea is this should be level and somebody asked now this is not the way that I do it I do it with when I do it myself I dig the whole thing out and I put forms in and then I backfill afterwards because then you can put your curtain drains in and all that other good stuff that goes along with it where here it has to be dug back up against next to the footing footing grains here or curtain drains are not as important here just because there's not going to be a floor inside it'll be stone it's not like if you are going to have a floor it'd be important but it's important that it be level and the way they do it is and, and is they take they take some this is number four rebar half inch rebar they cut it like 16 inches and they bang it down to a foot and they they put a they put the laser on top of it and they bang it down until you know they hit it but they only do them like every four to six feet so there's a lot of space in between that it can be off and then you know leveling it side to side they're just doing it by eye and clearly they don't really care um you know like i said this is not the way i do it i had to kind of get used to the way that people do things down here when i have to hire somebody because it isn't the way that it's done they do not have the building skill that we have I say we <laughs> um, it's not the end of the world but it's not right and you know and they could say well you know it doesn't it doesn't matter the masons the block layers will make it up okay well you could say the same thing if you make if you make the um, if you make the foundation out of square me as a carpenter I can I can build the building square no matter what I've had to do like I, on one job I had to do a, like I don't know 20 30 years ago I had to hang I had to build a wall out of 2 by 12s because it had to hang over so far on one side and then the other side in order to make it square because the person who did the foundation and I didn't hire the person um, it was the homeowner who had done it um, you know it hired them um, so yes I can I can make what I have to do after that but is that right? I mean, the foundation person should take pride in what they do and they should want their job to be perfect. Just like when I do something, when Chris does a, a job, he wants it perfect. When I do something, I try to make it as perfect as I can. I mean, nothing is perfect, perfect, but you try to minimize the imperfections, so to speak, and especially when you're getting paid. So again, they are fired. New person is hired and I'm... They should be starting, um, today's Wednesday, I believe they'll be starting on Monday. Depends on how fast I can get the, the block that I want. Like I said, I never even wanted to do this in block. I wanted to do this poured. There's all the, found, all the uh, foundation forms that I have right there. 
they have no idea what those are down here not a clue not they look at you like you got six heads i don't have enough forms to do this all in one shot i'd have to do it in probably i'd probably have to do it in four different separate pours and like i said with it, nobody to help me and i don't feel like it i just don't want to do it you know i don't i don't have to do it so I'd like to pay somebody to do it, and I can't even find, you know, I, I'm, I'm pretty confident in these, in this person I have to do the block um, after talking with them, and so we shall see, but I'm pretty confident uh, the guy's right on the ball, calls me back, a very, very helpful, um, very knowledgeable, uh, been doing it for 30-something years, um, so... We, again, we shall see, but it's kind of out of my control. Once we get to the framing portion of it, then you'll get to see basically just me doing it. Um, though I am going to hire somebody when we go to set the trusses. I usually don't use trusses. I usually stick frame everything, but I cannot do this size stick framed by myself. Plus, you know, I'm getting old. Not old, old, but I'm going to be 60, and I'd like to live to be 61. So I'm going to uh, hire a couple people to help me, but most of everything you're going to see after this will be me. So then you can only yell at me, and I don't think I'll only yell at myself. So, all right, that's enough of a rant on this. So let's let's get to, I don't know what video this is going to go to, probably the block laying, I would imagine. But um, I just wanted to come out after seeing the... Uh, uh, seeing the comments which were warranted but again like how did i know they were going to be this bad until it was the time and i already paid for the concrete it was already coming you see so <clears throat> it wasn't like i could say ah forget it leave you're fired well then i'd, I'd have seven thousand dollars worth of concrete that i had already paid for that would be dumped on the ground somewhere oh the joy this will be the last this will be the last thing that i hopefully the last thing that i build at least the last thing that is of this scale so we shall see on with the video all right so as i talked about earlier they left all the dirt they dug up inside which i need for i need to have for uh for my crawl space that's why i have a four foot crawl space is because i want four feet of crawl space i don't want three feet of crawl space or two and a half feet of crawl space so I'm going to get that out, and I think the best place to do it is going to be here on the low end. Um, I can, I'm can i going to bend over a couple of rebar that are there, and then I can just come out and dump it. I can dump it right over there. and Because I'm going to need to fill back in. I'm going to need, well, right here, this will all be filled back in. Um, the porch, that's the porch right there. That will be filled back in. Uh, the back outdoor kitchen area that will be filled back in so I can't really dump it over there now because it'll be in the way but I'll get I'll keep it close with this stuff so that's what we're gonna do right now all right we gotta bend it over two of these
Alright, well as usual, I didn't do filming of what I wanted to do, but because they dug these footings uh, 8 inches too deep, I have to um, pull this all back because every time it rains, the mud is running down and making a mess and they're coming in a couple days. The I'm waiting for the block to be delivered right now. So I'm trying to dig it back and I've got my son-in-law Kevin here, so he's helping me. Um, so better late than never for me to turn on the cameras. He's setting up the tripod now. Here we go, Kevin's setting up the tripod now, so I'm just going to pull this back, I'm waiting on block to come, so I want to get this done because Monday, today is Thursday, they are coming uh, on Monday and I want to have to have everything ready, have to have everything, I want to have everything ready, so.
right back on the footing and that leaves a big mess, a residue. Here, I just need enough to keep. 
All right, so this morning we've got Blanton Building Supply coming to drop off uh, mason sand, uh, 90 bags of type N mortar, or type S, never, type S mortar, uh, some vents, some access doors, and some rebar. So I got the skid steer here so I can put the pallets in the shipping container and everything else uh, can be outside. So we'll get a drone shot. My uh, son-in-law Kevin is here, uh, my drone operator. So we'll get a drone shot of them delivering that. And tomorrow we get the block delivered, we'll get that as well.
go. Kevin's setting up the tripod now, so I'm just going to pull this back. I'm waiting on block to come, so I want to get this done because Monday, today is Thursday. They are coming uh, on Monday, and I want to have to have everything ready. Have to have everything. I want to have everything ready, so. Southern Homestead. Scott.
here we are in the video finally we're getting ready to go eat i wanted to thank kevin for all the help he gave he cleaned off all the all the footings that they screwed up i dug them back as you saw so i totally changed what you saw in the beginning of it where it was eight ten inches too high inside I didn't like that because that's going to cut down on my headroom or I would need to run another row of block which is about $4,000 so there's no need to do that. Um, so I used, as you saw, I used the uh, Yanmar with the grating bucket for just making sure no water would go in. It's all cleaned off now. Of course it's raining as I'm doing this. Um, slick this up. He's, it's all compacted. That dirt has to stay in there because that all gets filled back in. That is an outdoor kitchen. And this is a front porch. So the next thing that you will see will be the uh, the block. They're coming on Monday. And by the time you see this, they'll probably already be done. But they're coming. Today is Thursday. So, all right. So, as usual, thanks for watching. Catch you on the next one. And I think I'm going to have a bonus at the end of this one. So make sure you watch it. All right, I'm not sure where this is going to fit in, so if this is the beginning, I'm going to say welcome back, everyone. And this was something else that I really didn't plan to do. I was going to take the dozer. I had to put new batteries in the in the 250. They finally died after five years. Um, and I said, I said, well, let me take the uh, let me take the dozer out. And this is where Wendy and I sit up here on top to watch the sunset, and it was uneven. So I didn't video any of this because I was only planning to take five minutes to uh, to do it. I didn't finish it, but I knocked it down to one level. I went down and graded out. I dug some more up. I took the 250 down and I dug some material out of there just to get a little bit more filled this whole area and I'll try to find a clip of what it looked like from before but this was all all right so here we are in today and the video I found a good use for this big mountain of dirt that I have get a bird's eye view from you you can see the water level yep it's up about two feet. It has come up to four feet, but after the rain, we haven't had rain. Even the creek has like a half an inch in it. Misty, where are you going? She's a little killer. She catches all the geckos. Come on, Misty. Come on up. Come on. Come up here. Come on. Come on. Anyway, so this is our view. Looks good. So again, there you go. Misty wants to say goodbye. I want to thank, uh, just pushed up uneven when Chris was here. Um, he pushed some of the material up and nothing, like we didn't do anything here because technically I wasn't even going to leave this here. So, and I made a ramp um, down here so we can drive up and down. So, there's a look. And I tracked it in, well, obviously I cut the slope uh, horizontally. And then I tracked it in vertically. So this needs to be, this, this was quick. That was an afterthought, the ramp. It needs to be compacted. But you can see where I dug up some more material, material right there. And again, you can't get the scope of the how high that is right there. But that's probably uh, 20, at least from here to there is 20 feet. Of course it's starting to rain but I think it looks pretty good because I I would like to leave that Wendy doesn't want me to leave that there but I like having that high perch for watching things so we'll see how that goes but in the interim at least at least it'll look good so ah, what are you gonna do sorry I didn't video it I always do that I say ah I won't do it and then I always every time I do that I said that would have made a good video so I'll try not to do that again, but there you go.